This debate is proudly brought to you by the Department of Economic Development, KwaZulu-Natal. I think we've got to highlight the plight of the entrepreneur in South Africa. What do you think is the biggest challenge that entrepreneurs face? First of all, there's a misconception around uh, what the biggest challenge is. A lot of people will tell you it's financial, but actually South Africa is not better nor worse than other emerging markets when it comes to access to capital. The key issue is around skills, in, in our view, from what we've seen. And also there are some structural issues around, around capital, which are, which are real, especially at a certain stage of entrepreneurship. But I would say number one is skills, uh, and then number two, uh, infrastructure, and number three, a sort of late three, is uh, the issue of, of capital. This issue of capital, there are a lot of entrepreneurs out there saying they cannot get access to capital to start their businesses. Isn't there something to be said, though, about this Me Too kind of attitude from South African entrepreneurs? That's right, absolutely. We had a conference in November in Cape Town where this issue was debated really in, in great detail. And what seems to, to be the case in South Africa is that entrepreneurs go into, into industry or businesses without really studying the gap without studying the opportunity to, to a level of detail that is required. And then a lot of them sort of struggle once, if they do stumble into a good idea or a good, a good concept, to develop a business. Because developing a business is not just about having an idea, it's also around all the structural aspects that come to support it. And that seems to be lacking in South Africa. I want to focus on this regulation issue and the red tape associated with starting a business. Surely that's the one area that government can help the entrepreneur in this country? Yes, but you know, as I said earlier, 70% of new businesses in South Africa fail. So uh, it's not so much the starting of the business that matters. In, my, in our view, it's more at a certain stage, once the concept has been proven, to take the companies to the next level where the problems are. So of course, a lot could be done to, to uh, ameliorate the uh, creation of businesses. But I think uh, at the sort of uh, what we call the no man's land of entrepreneurship is where the, the, the problems lie. So you're saying that the key issue then is sustainability yeah. and that we need programs to help sustain entrepreneurs in Absolutely. South Africa. Absolutely. What is the solution on that front? Who, who is it who's going to sustain these entrepreneurs? Is it a mixture of government and private sector? Absolutely, but mostly private sector, especially around, for example, incubation, more incubation. Uh, and incubation is different for, for companies that are you know, 18 months old to companies who are three years old. Uh, there's also an issue around venture capital, because venture capital should not just be about capital, it should be also around all the accompanying structures and support that entrepreneurs need, that are lacking. Uh, networks, access to networks, um, support in terms of financial management, support in terms of IT management, all sorts of things that are, that are, that are kind of lacking. Just very quickly, uh, on a final point, entrepreneurial activity, where do we lie in comparison with six the rest percent, of the world? Six percent, one of the lowest in emerging markets, uh, India is at 14%, Brazil is at 15%, so South Africa is lacking in that space.